what's going on youtube joey brooklyn Knight back with another video on nba 2k22 my team as you can tell by the title of the video it is that time again on the channel we hit another milestone goal for ourselves 300 subs on the channel big dub give yourselves a round of applause i couldn't have done it without you guys i appreciate all the support that's been flowing in for the last month or so appreciate all the new subs appreciate all the old subs but we're here just to give back as i like to do as you already know if you've been watching the channel every 50 subs that i get i treat it like collector level in my team basically every 50 subs i like to do a little monetary giveaway as a way of saying thank you we hit 300 subs on the channel right now we're about at 314 so basically our next goal after this is obviously that grind to 350 subs basically how it works if you don't know i basically give you guys a word you enter that word in the comment section just the word that i'm talking about and then after a week i use one of those rng comment pickers and basically it selects one person at random can only have one winner and of course most importantly you must be sub to the channel to be eligible to win trust me i'll find out if you're not just saying but also on with this video we're going to be opening these new packs that just came out the my team premier packs we get uh my team premier pack pink diamond galaxy opal and a dark matter basically a guaranteed one of these cards i mean there is some potential with the pink diamond one i guess the pink diamond that everybody would want is that the nba 75 magic johnson that still has a lot of value galaxy opals i'm not too sure it's hit or miss and of course most importantly this dark matter you know you can get some crazy stuff out of there I haven't heard of anybody getting any invincibles from that but you never know we're gonna test our luck with it do i suggest you guys open these uh not really if you've been playing the game for a while i don't think it's worth it i'm doing it just for the video content otherwise i would not be touching these things but if you're brand new to my team and you got like a ten dollars to spare let's say it's your birthday and somebody said here kid here's ten dollars go go get yourself some dinner go get yourself some chinese food go get yourself some you know some burger king or something like that you know what i mean if you got ten dollars laying around and you're just starting it's not a bad look you know and if you don't have the ten dollars a lot of cards are going to be cheaper on the auction house because of this then i'll get into the giveaway with uh you know what i like to do is the player that I use, the player name that I like to use, I basically give some kind of background information on the player. That's how I like to do things. Makes it a little interesting and go down memory lane as best as I know to my knowledge. If I'm wrong about anything, feel free to let me know in the comments. You know, we all make mistakes. We're only human, you know what I mean? So, you know, let's just get into it. And of course, if you're new to the channel and you wanna be a part of this, kill that like button get the video rolling in the algorithm of the youtube so more people can see it you know more people can see the video the more likes there are the more people will see and that's the goal on the channel the more people see it the more people sub you know what i mean it's just it goes hand in hand and of course most importantly smash that sub button as we're on the road now on that grind to 350 subs and i appreciate every single one of y'all and you know let's let's continue to grow on the channel let's keep that momentum going and right now we're going to start off with the pink diamond pack we're going to get into that of course wait a minute y'all know i gotta hit you with that as the late great american poet marvin gay once said let's get it on we're going to get into the pink diamond one if it doesn't shake and that means i got it already it is oh my goodness the goat why not of, of course you know it would be cool though if we was to get his diamond uh his galaxy opal as well and then uh, his dark matter i'm just saying 2k i'm just saying and we get the pink diamond one i do have this already so we'll just send that that is now sold out as you can see and not bad i can get something for it and of course let's get into the galaxy opal regardless if i have this card or not it's going to shake that's just the way it is opal still shake they will probably shake for the rest of the year and we get a small for are we gonna get scotty oh damn i'm about to say all right and it looks like we're gonna get king james himself and his nba 75 card okay i don't think 
Yeah, I didn't have that one. Okay, let's keep the streak alive. Let's get something that we don't have. Uh, from what I've seen, I've seen people pull, let me just back out of that, make it look nice and pretty. That's the only card. So this is a guaranteed dark matter. So you know we're gonna see that beautiful dark matter glow. But you know, I still gotta put the sound effect, right? Let's get into it, all right? And three, two, one. There we go, we're gonna flip the card. We ain't even gonna mess around. We're just gonna flip it. That's what it's all about. And we get a point guard, dark matter. <laughs> I really just got Russell Westbrook. <sighs> That's pain. That's mid. No, we don't wanna see you rocking, like, rocking no cradles, nah, man. He was the one I, I wanted the least. He probably goes for the least amount. You know, it is what it is. Yeah, we get 75 LeBron, okay. There we go. That's terrible. That's, ter oh, come on. Let me see, let me see his price at least. 30K, 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 yeah, about 30K. It is what it is, you know. I mean, like I said, <laughs> if you're just starting out, it's not a bad look, you know? But uh, anyway, let's get into uh, the giveaway. The uh, Not the actual giveaway, of course. I'm gonna tell you guys about the player. And we're gonna go to shoot around. Let me use my clutch lineup. Uh, this is the lineup I'm running in clutch time. If you're wondering where Luca is, I had to part ways with my boy, you know what I mean? He's going for a lot. There's not that many Lucas, he's more rare. So his price is much higher than it was when I got the card. I'll let you know in the, another video after he sells how much he sold for and how much profit I made basically. But uh, just to let you guys know with this, uh, if you guys didn't know the brick wall challenge. Uh, where was it? I think it was down here somewhere. Oh yeah, the hall of fame brick wall. So you get, uh, what do you got to do? 20, 25 three pointers with centers. And of course, 40 points in the paints with centers and you get brick wall. I did add that to Luca before I sold him at what was one of the hall of fame badges I was missing for him. But anyway, let's get into this and I'm going to rewind you guys all the way back to 1996, the NBA draft. A lot of people consider that to be one of the greatest drafts of all time. Some people believe it's 2003. That was the year with LeBron and Carmelo and Bosch and uh, I believe Wade, which was a hell of a class. We can't, can't deny that, but it's not about Wade this time. But we wanna go talk about the 1996 draft. Of course, 1996 was the year of Allen Iverson, Steve Nash, Ray Allen, which, you know, we're gonna hear his name again. And a couple of other guys that you might have known about, but we're talking about Stephon Marbury. We wanna talk about Steph Marbury, man, Starberry. Basically on draft night, uh, he was drafted by the Milwaukee Bucks and the uh, Minnesota Timberwolves drafted Ray Allen. They made a draft night trade with the Timberwolves getting Stephon Marbury and the Milwaukee Bucks getting uh, Ray Allen. And uh, I believe Ray Allen was not, uh, was not happy about it at the time because I think he wanted to play in Minnesota, if I remember correctly. He didn't want to go to Milwaukee. And uh, Starberry, Stephon Marbury was then paired with a very, very young Kevin Garnett. I believe Kevin Garnett was probably younger than Stephon Marbury when Stephon Marbury was there, when Stephon Marbury uh, got drafted. So the Timberwolves, the Milwaukee Bucks made the trade, made the swap basically. They just basically swapped players and gave the draft rights to Stephon Marbury, gave the draft rights to Stephon Marbury to the Minnesota Timberwolves and of course, the Milwaukee Bucks wound up with Ray Allen. In hindsight, uh, in hindsight, it did turn out better for the Milwaukee Bucks, uh, sort of, because yes, Ray Allen went on to have a more successful career, in my opinion, than Stephon Marbury, but he didn't play his entire career with the uh, Milwaukee Bucks, and Stephon Marbury did, did not play with the Minnesota Timberwolves. So basically, uh, 
since we're talking about Stephon Marbury, let's get him in here. Where is he? Stephon Marbury. Did I do it? I don't even know how to sub people in this. What's wrong with me? All right, there we go. And there go big head, big head Steph, Steph Marbury. But this is basically him. This is Galaxy Opal in his Knicks uniform. We'll get to that in a bit. But basically, the irony in the fact that these two were traded for each other in the same draft is that Stephon Marbury came from the same neighborhood I did. Born and raised in Coney Island, the Coney Island section of Brooklyn, New York. Basically, if you was from Coney Island, most of the time you wound up going to Abraham Lincoln High School. And Stephon Marbury went to Abraham Lincoln High School and won multiple championships there. And uh, probably could have went straight to the NBA if he wanted to, but he decided to take go for one year to Georgia Tech University. And uh, But while he was in Abraham Lincoln, uh, he was a dominant player, uh, a hell of a scorer, uh, 30 plus points a game. Um, and he was just a, a scoring juggernaut, which is the opposite of what I'm showing right now with his jump shot. He's basically got the Derrick Rose jump shot and Don Old jump shot. They're basically, the, he's always a clone of Derrick Rose in game. Uh, the irony in this whole uh, situation with him getting traded uh, for basically getting traded for Ray Allen is that uh, Ray Allen went on to star in a movie called He Got Game. I'm pretty sure you guys have heard of it. If you haven't, go check it out. It's Denzel Washington plays the father of a guy named Jesus Shuttlesworth. And basically, Jesus Shuttlesworth is played by Ray Allen. A couple of other NBA players in there. I believe Travis Best was one of them. He used to play for the uh, Indiana Pacers, I believe. Uh, but basically, the high school that he got game was filmed in was in Abraham Lincoln High School. The high school that Stephon Marbury, uh, just years prior, just a few years prior, had won multiple city championships uh, and played in Madison Square Garden, won the, the city high school championships, basically. And Ray Allen, who he was traded for, is chosen to play the guy uh, in the Abraham Lincoln High School. Uh, it's not called Abraham Lincoln High School in the movie, of course, but it's there where Stephon Marbury won his high school championships. Uh, and then you see the irony I'm talking about? These two guys got traded for each other. But Ray Allen winds up playing a basketball, a high school basketball superstar at the same high school that Stephon Marbury, the guy that would later be traded, they, they, they get traded for each other. He's playing in the same high school as Stephon Marbury. I always thought that was just funny just to know that. But basically, you know, it is what it is. And then, uh, of course, he went to the Timberwolves and played with uh, uh, Kevin Garnett. Uh, they were on the cover of Slam Magazine. And of course, you know, things were looking up for the Minnesota Timberwolves. Wink, wink. It don't end well. Basically, uh, as time went on and Kevin Garnett had signed a big, uh, like, record-breaking deal at the time of $126 million, right around the time that Stephon Marbury was due to get his contract extension and he wanted big money as well. Minnesota was not prepared to pay uh, Stephon Marbury as great a player as he is, was not prepared to pay him that kind of money. So, um, you know, he came up with this excuse. He says in his own words that uh, he couldn't picture himself living in Minnesota for like another seven years. I guess he wasn't happy there and uh, he wanted out basically. But, uh, you know, they started off good. A lot of people say it was because of greed, that maybe he wanted more money, he deserved more money, he felt like he deserved more money. Deservedly so. The guy was a, a, a bucket. He was he was, a, a, he was an explosive scorer. Allen Iverson was, of course, the best of that um, of that draft. He was drafted first overall. I think uh, Steph was drafted fourth. Ray was drafted fifth. <laughs> so, um, you know, it was a valid point uh, for him. But uh, my shooting is terrible with this card. I'm just saying. But uh, then he goes on to um, force a trade. Uh, basically, he got traded uh, out of Minnesota and was traded to his hometown, New York Knicks. Not his home borough, but, you know, the Knicks play in Manhattan, New York, which is basically one of the boroughs. He's from Brooklyn, but there was no Brooklyn Nets at the time. It was a uh, New Jersey Nets. So basically, you know, he came home kind of like the Carmelo situation years later. 
and then uh he had like three years with the knicks um didn't do i mean he did okay it was nice to have him home and playing comfortably but you know that's also a bad thing you know he wasn't uh, focused as much because you know he's home basically i mean he can literally play a game go to his mom's crib hang out with his boys in coney island and kick it there and then go back to the team you know what i'm saying so overall it didn't really work out that well so then he uh wound up getting traded again this time he was traded to the phoenix suns and uh after that he played like a few seasons with the suns made his first all-star appearance then he got traded to the new jersey nets and him and penny hardaway were traded from phoenix to the nets and the nets wound up sending jason kidd to the phoenix suns and mind you this is jason kidd had just led the new jersey nets to uh back to back i think nba finals or back to back eastern conference finals or something like that but uh you know he got them they had the nets had two really good seasons behind jason kidd and marbury was traded for him and then marbury wound up to go again was selected to an all-star game while playing for the new jersey nets uh, i remember there was one all-star game he might have been it might have been his only all-star appearance but uh, he scored like 20 something points i believe like in the all-star game he was just he was just spotting up from like curry range a couple of shots he just spotted up from way deep and just was banging threes bang bang just he was he was he was just he had a swag about him and that's what was cool that's one of the things that was cool about him then after that i mean by 2010 he was out of the league a lot of people was thinking that he was losing his mind there was a video that went viral of him where uh he was talking about a, a remedy an old school remedy that his mom used to use for when him and his siblings had like a sore throat and i don't suggest you guys try this uh maybe look the video up maybe you can find it but he basically says that um eating vaseline soothes the throat or something like that so he proceeds to get a jar of vaseline and dip his finger in it and scoop it out like it was peanut butter or or some kind of ice cream or fudge or whatever and he just like lop, gulps it down and i'm like damn that fool really just did that you know what i'm saying like i, I wouldn't do that but you know people were saying he was losing the mind but honestly to me i feel like uh he just wanted peace and tranquility he needed to get away that was his that was steph's thing i think he needed to get away and in 2010 he did get away went to go play pro ball in china 2010 he played for the beijing something i don't know the name of the teams but i know it was beijing was the team he played on and he wound up winning uh three championships with them he won in 2012 2014 and 2015 completing the back-to-back -back titles and uh you know sort of a dynasty over there and he became a legend i mean when you think of basketball in china i mean yao ming is yao ming is king you know that's that's king that's his majesty that's the ming dynasty you know what i mean but after that it's steph marbury i mean there's a lot of nba players former nba players that play over there in china but definitely stefan marbury that's that's where it's at you know he's uh he's number two to yao ming's number one definitely but uh you know that's it so before i give you guys the code of course or the special word it's not what you think it is but one of the coolest things that steph ever did and this is something that affected me on a personal level where we at that time coming from Co and coming from you know from coney island most people that lived in coney island were in poverty including myself and steph always wanted the same things that i wanted every kid wanted at that time i want to wear some air jordans i want some air jordans for real i want some ones i want some twos threes fours not twos Those things are ugly but basically you know we wanted sneakers like that but we couldn't afford it you know some of us were single coming we were from single parent homes and this and that so marbury went to georgia tech and a, a professor of his actually gave him an idea like hey man when you make it to the league because i know you are basically how about you make your own sneaker line and sell it for the low sell it for the cheap and that's where the sneakers 
dubbed starberries came out. They weren't marberries, they were starberries. They had a star on it and everything, it was funny. Look them up, you know, and these sneakers, were they were, they were being sold for $15. And you could ball in these, you could hoop in, in starberries, you know what I'm saying? I mean, they weren't, you know, they were made in China. I mean, it wasn't Jordans, you know what I'm saying? It wasn't the, the most, uh, what can I say? It wasn't as good quality as Jordans, but you could still do your thing with them. They were decent sneakers and they had a lot of colorways. And I always appreciated that because I myself had strawberries and uh, I couldn't afford Jordans back then when I was that young. But for $15, you could get a pair of strawberries. And my boy's tearing it up in the league, doing his thing, averaging over 20 points a game. And, uh, you know, just for that, he's legendary in my book, you know. I'm sorry I haven't been shooting around, but I'm, I'm like, really getting into the story. But that's probably uh, one of the things I remember most about Steph, aside from all the stuff that I spoke about. Uh, dude was like, you know, uh, I don't care about the money. I want to give back. I couldn't afford Jordans when I was younger. So make my sneakers $15. It's all good. And they sold so many, so many. And they debuted in 2006. Uh, I think it was September 2006 or December 2006. Strawberries came out and they did, sell, they did sell a lot. I mean, $15, you know? Hey, I got my strawberries on, you know? Yeah, I got my Jordans. I got my strawberries, man. They cost like a third of those, you know what I mean? Let me see, 15. No, like Jordans back then were like $65. So, you know, I'm kind of telling you guys my age in a sense. But, uh, yeah, Jordan's was like 65 back then. And that was a lot back then. For $15, a fraction of that price, you was able to get some strawberries. So, shout out to Stefan Marbury. I never thought he went crazy. Um, you know, I would never think that about somebody. Uh, basically, sometimes, you know, as humans, sometimes we just got to get out of a toxic environment, toxic relationship. And I can definitely attest to that. You know, sometimes you just got to get out of that stuff. And it worked out for Steph big time. He wanted to um, embrace the culture of China. And he did exactly that. You know, he embraced it and uh, flourished over there for 10 years. Became a, a superstar. I, I believe they got a statue of my man out there in China. So, you know, he did his thing. So basically the word that you guys want to enter for the giveaway is Starberry. All right. That's spelled S-T-A-R-B-U-R-Y all together. Starberry. Instead of Marbury, just put a star and berry. S-T-A-R-B-U-R-Y. Just type that in the comment section of the video and you'll be entered as long as you are subscribed to the channel. I can't stress that enough. Subscription is key for you to be eligible to win. I've done these for every 50 subs, so I know what I'm doing by now. But uh, basically, Starberry is the keyword. And to Starberry for your chance to win the monetary giveaway. If you win and you get, you get in contact with me after you win, I'll let you know what it is exactly. For all those that have won already, y'all already know the deal. Y'all are eligible to win again. You know, it doesn't matter if you've won before. You could have won all of them in a row. It's just the luck of the draw. That's how we do things, all right? So basically, shout out to Stefan Marbury. Shout out to the Starberry sneaker. Keyword is Starberry. Make sure you put that in the comment section. And, uh, you know, I appreciate all of you guys. Hope you guys enjoyed that little story. If you guys want to cross-reference or double-check, you're more than welcome to. Let me know if I made a mistake because at the end of the day, I am human and I am tired as a mother. No, excuse me. I am tired, let's just say. All right, so uh, thank you for watching. And of course, kill the like button on the video. Of course, get it rolling in the algorithm of YouTube. I always say that. Help your boy out. The more likes, the more, the more likes, the more people it reaches. And of course, most importantly, smash the sub button as we are now on that grind to 350 subs. I'm pretty sure we'll get there in due time. I appreciate every single one of y'all anyway. Y'all know the deal. Y'all know the vibes. This is Joey Brooklynite. Peace out.